So first, let's take care of these two items. We noted that these two items were on the bank statement, but they're not on our books. So what we're going to do is just make the adjustment. Let's just make the adjustment for those two items. We need to fix our books, meaning that if we took out $80 here uh, and we drew it out of the account and just got cash for it and we didn't record it in our books, then what's going to have to happen is cash is going to have to go down by that $80. We can see that cash has a debit balance. We need to make it go down. We're going to do the opposite thing to it. Therefore, that would be a credit. So that's going to be this credit here. We're going to credit cash by the $80, which will reduce the um, cash account. Then we're going to have to record some other side of it. So we know that cash has to go down. What about the other side? Most likely it's going to be some kind of expense. Uh, if we took something out in cash and didn't keep the receipt, that's, you know, we should keep the receipt probably. But <laughs> if we took it out and we don't know what we spent the cash on, then we're going to have to put it somewhere. One place we could put it is probably the miscellaneous account here. So we're probably, we could put it in the miscellaneous. It's going to be some type of expense, most likely. And expenses have debit balances. And once again, they only go up. So we're going to make it go up by doing the same thing to it. We're going to debit the $80 expense. If we record that, then what would happen is the expense goes from zero up to 80. It brings net income down because net income has a credit balance. It's the 50 minus the 80 uh, would bring it down here. Also, of course, the cash has a debit balance. It would go down by the 80 and uh, bring the cash balance down. That would put us back in balance. And there's what the effect on the net income would be. Once again, this is income, not a loss. The other side of it, if we had a bank charge, this would be also something that the bank would record that we wouldn't know about until we got the bank statement. So the bank took the money out. If there's a non-sufficient fund, if they charge us a late fee or something, then we just get it and we go, okay, we're going to have to record that. We're going to have to reduce our cash account. Once again, cash has a debit balance. We're going to do the opposite thing to it. Therefore, we're going to credit cash. So we know that has to happen. So we're going to go ahead and credit cash. What's the debit going to go to? What's the expense account? Probably going to be an expense account. Uh, I personally like to make an expense account called bank service charges. So I like to record what the uh, bank has taken out in a separate account. It is up to the bookkeeper to do that if they want to or not, because note that uh, it is probably going to be a small amount. So hopefully, <laughs> the, hopefully the bank's not taking a lot out. So since the amount some people might say is immaterial, then why don't we just put that into like miscellaneous as well or something, because it's a small immaterial amount. Personally, I, most of the people I've seen, I kind of like to see how much the bank's taken out, even if it's small, <laughs> just to make sure it is small. But uh, that's a choice that the bookkeeper is going to make. In this case, we have a separate account, bank service charge. It's an expense. Expenses have debit balances. We're going to make it go up by doing the same thing to it, which in this case would be a debit.